Well, hi everybody, it's Leanne Graff with today's live video. And we are going to make a few fun fold cards today. Um, the video might be a little quicker than we than my usual because I have a meeting at noon today. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna get started right away. I am going to hopefully get my laptop synced up so I can see comments and respond to them. <laughs> Sometimes I miss them. Um, hi, Lori. Good morning. I will see Lori this afternoon. Uh, we will be sorting some. My friend Marilyn, who passed away last year, um, her daughter decided to sell most of her stamping things at our annual rummage sale. So we're sorting and pricing her items. It'll be good to remember it fondly because she was such a special person. And and as we go through her items and price them, we'll have some good memories to share with each other. So she was wonderful and we sure, sure miss her terribly. But our annual rummage sale in Minot, North Dakota is June 15th from nine to two. If you are at all close, I hope you stop in. I do have an early bird sale for my customers Friday night and for my team members, they can shop at six. Um, so yeah, let me. if you have a question on when you can shop, just message me. Oh, you're in Maryland, Joan. Wow, you're far away right now. I hope you're having fun and on vacation or with family. Um, okay, let's get started. So first off, let's do prize patrol before I get into what I have in front of me here. So last week's prizes were festive pearls for uh, commenting and one of my glue stands for sharing. And the winners of those items are Ellen McBrain and uh, Melinda Blevins. So I have Melinda's address. I'm waiting to hear back from Ellen to get her address to send um, the free item to. So if you want to win a prize today, uh, make sure you comment. Um, let me know you're here. If it's your first time here, let me know that too. I love hearing that. Um, okay, the prize for commenting today is a set of resin stars. These were available in our catalog, uh, gosh, maybe a couple years ago. And so I thought this was appropriate for upcoming uh, summery birthday or 4th of July cards. And then I have a card kit, a pre-cut card kit. This was one of my incentives for orders um, in uh, May. So it's three cards, envelopes, everything is pre-cut, punched or die cut, and then instructions too. So um, so these are the cards that you'll be making when you uh, receive, you just use your own greetings. So all you need to do is maybe a little texturing, greetings, I believe even the bows are done for you. So, so anyway, the only thing it does not include it are the rhinestones. Everything else is punched or cut ready for you to make. So, so you don't get the cards, you get the card kit. So that's for sharing. The embellishments are for commenting. So let me know um, what you think of today's projects. Um, share with your friends. I appreciate all that you can do to help me get the word out about my videos. All right. Um, okay. We have a special starting tomorrow. Uh, starting June 5th, you can take an extra 10% off all bun stamp and die bundles. There are a couple bundles in here that are punch and stamp bundles. They are not included, but stamp and die bundles are. And uh, the stamp and cut and emboss machine and the mini cut and emboss machine are 10% off during June, starting now. So anything that's labeled a bundle. So for instance, this right here is a Friends for Life bundle. Now you can look under the bundles. I guess I don't know if it says bundles on here, but here's where they show the machines. And then when you look for um, the bundle pricing, that would be the number for stamp set, mask, and I don't think, I don't know if that one would work because it's not dies. Well, yes it is. We'll find out tomorrow what's all on there, but these two punch bundles are not included. I'm not sure if the dies are because there are, there is a die and stamp set bundle. But all of these uh, bundles that are new, now it does, I, I highly doubt it includes any of the Encore bundles because they're not sold as a bundle anymore. Anything that's carried over is sold separately from other catalogs. So, but there is a link in my blog tomorrow to the Stamp and Dies bundle. 
So if you want to know what's um, included, go to flowerbook.net or to shopwithleanne.com and just go to the stamp and die bundles section. Now, if I've had some people, um, I'm a little crooked here, um, some people have trouble navigating our online uh, store. There is a little, what they, they call it a hamburger icon, and it's three long lines on the upper left corner of the Stampin' Up! Um, website, shop site. So when you see that, click on those three long lines, and that brings you to all the different categories for you to shop. So that's how you navigate our online store. Okay, I do um, want to mention that make sure you're following me on either my YouTube or my Facebook page here where this um, video is being live. Now it'll be uploaded to YouTube later. So one of my June specials, myself, for online orders over 50, I think it's $50, it might be 55, <laughs> I've got to look at what I posted, is a set of embellishments. And I have a lot of these uh, in-color shimmer gems ready to go out for online orders. So, so yeah, that is my um, free gift with online orders in June this month. I do, um, I did finish my two kits to go and they include the Thoughtful Journey designer paper and the Frames and Flowers designer paper, which are both unfortunately out of stock right now. Uh, but I, they will be on my, my tutorial shop uh, later this week, hopefully even maybe by tomorrow. Um, I haven't written the tutorials yet, but the pictures and the cards are all done and they've turned out so great. I just love them. So here's the current inventory status report. You can see there's quite a bit. Um, got a few of the gems. The dyes that I'm going to be working with today are unavailable until June 24th. Uh, here's some designer papers. Uh, the embossing fo uh, powder should be back uh by next week, hopefully. So there's quite a few in-color ink pads, markers, uh, blends that are unavailable, but they will be back, just not available right now. So, so the only way to know what's available and what's not is to actually go and to the online store and shop. So demonstrators have access to this inventory status report, but unfortunately customers do not. So um, I think that's uh, all the news. I, let's get right to the products. So, and you know, I have a feeling I forgot my dies. So just a moment, there's the stamp set. Hmm. Maybe I didn't forget that. Maybe I just can't write now. I don't know where they are. Anyway, <laughs> that's so weird. Hold on. The reason I didn't have them is I was cutting out last night for my card club uh, for June. So these are the dies that are included in this bundle. So if once this bought this uh set of dies comes back in stock later in June, this would be an extra 10% off for almost 20% off. So it's this is probably one of my favorites, especially the dies. So it almost makes you like if you're gonna get 20% off on the bundle and you mostly want the dies, but you kind of like the stamp set, you know, it almost is worth getting both. You'd have to do the math on buying them separately, but a lot of times this ends up being pretty inexpensive when you choose the bundle, especially at 20% off this month. So anyway, that's the dies and stamps that I'm going to be using today. Okay, the first card, both are fun folds. And um, this card I almost did, or in, used as my uh, club card last month. So it's a little bit, I don't know what to even call it. I call it a flap card. Uh, there's gotta be a better, uh, better name than that, but it's like a single, a narrow flap that you add, <coughs> excuse me, the die to with the pretty uh, images. So you can see that one has leaves and a butterfly and one has flowers. I'm going to do the flowers one today. And so it's an odd um, kind of a card because the backing is your card base. 
So this is the actual card base. Now the colors here are all in colors. So this is our Shy Shamrock with Petunia Pop and Pretty in Pink. A little bit of the Peach Pie. Uh, so I covered quite a bit of the in colors on these cards. Now I did texture this layer with the eyelet. Let's see, I think I have that here. The eyelet uh, 3D folder. Really pretty uh, texture on this one. Of course, I do love all of the folders. Okay, so we are going to adhere that. Get my glue out. I think this is full enough for today. Oh yeah, wouldn't you know it. That, I think, I wonder if I left it open the other day. See if I can open that up. I usually use a stick pin. This is a little bit too wide. Well, we may be using my tape which is just fine. So this is, I prefer Seal Plus because it has little, I don't know if you can see that, but there's little um, lines separating each piece so you don't get that sticky extension of your glue as you pull away. Um, it's stronger as well, so that that's help, important to me especially with texture. I really prefer using multi-purpose glue. You know, I really do this, but maybe I should try the other side because I really do prefer, um, we'll see. I never use this side, but it's always sitting up the other way. So I don't think I have enough glue. Yep, I don't have enough glue for it to come down. It feels kind of empty. That was not a good plan today, was it? But I have this and this will work fine. So I do prefer a strong glue when you're adding uh, cardstock over texture and or burnish. So if you, if this, um, you just wanna press so it makes contact, That what that's what burnish means. So this uh, designer paper is from the Unbound Unbounded Beauty and it was unavailable and now it's back. So it includes a lot of in colors just pretty, all these, these prints here are from that. Okay, so now let's, I guess we're gonna get to some stamping. Okay, we're gonna stamp. Oh, I hope I have the right inks. It's kind of so much going on today. I have an appointment and I have gals coming over. I had something last night and uh, yeah, so there's lots going on. All right. So we're gonna make this card. Ink up in the Shy Shamrock. You might think that's odd, but I really wanted my leaves to be green. So we'll be pretty high up here. Okay, such a beautiful image. And then we're going to stamp. And I'm gonna use the Thanks. Hopefully that'll fit on here. I have two just in case I mess up. So thanks, and what I like to do is to test to see how straight it is, and it's all pretty straight. Oh yeah, pretty good. Okay, close that up, I don't think. Oh, I did stamp a butterfly, but I think instead of the butterfly on here, this one has leaves, so I like that. Just a little something in the inside. And then you'd want to do the envelope too if you were going to do that. Okay, close that up. And start coloring. So I want to give you some tips on, on coloring these tulips so they're two-toned. So decide I have Pretty in Pink and uh, the Light Peach Pie here. So we'll just scoop that over and I think I'm going to do this is the dark we'll start with a little bit of that start with the bottom to be the darkest just a little bit and don't make it so even that it um, it looks contrived so like that one <laughs> okay so that's the dark then we do a little bit of the light, and I'm gonna use the bigger tip. Hopefully I don't mess up. 
Just continue a little bit of that. Don't need too much. Now, this is where the fun comes when you start adding a whole nother color. So I'm gonna do the top, the, the edges, I should say. And then you just kind of finish coloring. And you can see how it graduates into pink just slightly. So remember, you don't have to just color with the same colors all the time. You can add in, like here, pink and peach pie. Now if, and you can always go back over. So I'm gonna grab the lighter, uh, pretty in pink, and bring in some more of the pink to get even a bigger contrast. So, um, so yeah, it's so fun to add two colors and how it highlights. Now, let's just see what it looks like if I add a little more of the dark. It's not gonna make a whole lot of difference, but a little bit. So pretty cool. Now I did not touch up the leaves at all, but if you wanted to, you could go over the stems or add a little bit to the base just to highlight it and accent that just a little bit. So, so you can do whatever you wish. All right, so that will go on here and you don't want it to stick outside the card lines. So we are going to add adhesive here. It's a, it's the, I think this is the largest circle in the set. Now for here, this is the In Color Glimmer paper and here's my thanks. So um, this one, you can see I fussy cut and here I just did a little angle cut and that's what I'm going to do here. Just make it very simple, very quick. And grab my dimensionals. I can get them. And you can put your poke your nail on the side, and that lifts those up, those edges up of the backing, nicely. So you can grab them. I haven't done that for a while. I usually use the take your pick or just my nails. So once I have that on there, now I can add, I can trim to fit. Okay. All right. So we will add the inside. So this um, pink layer right here, the. Uh, Tutorial will be posted on my blog next week, uh, Monday or Tuesday. That's when I tend to post the free tutorials for my um, my projects. And then this will be right about there. Oops. Actually, this uh, designer paper, I think, has some of the backing on it. I was using it to cut out. Well, I can't get it off, so I'm going to have to just put my adhesive in there. It doesn't want to stick to the backing. This is some of the die cut adhesive. There it is, there it comes. But I don't want it everywhere, but I can take it off there. Because I don't, it's gonna hang off a little bit. So, does that look straight? Okay, and lastly, we use some of the gems, these in color shimmer gems that I'm giving away. Uh, this month for online orders. Oh, I didn't add the ribbon, did I? Hmm, I think I can still do that. So a little, little flag of ribbon. Call it a flag. You would use, to me, mini glue dots are and ribbons are best friends. So press your ribbon on a glue dot and then fold it over. And then you have to sneak it under here. And I think I have to trim as I didn't do this ahead of time before I added my greeting. So then you can simply sneak that under, hopefully, and just adds that little bit of accent to, to your project. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I haven't uh, 
been watching my, I'm going to add a little bit of the peach because there's a little peach on here. So isn't that a pretty card? I think it's very pretty. So there are, there, here's the kind of a flat fold. The only thing I didn't like about this is you could see the backing of my coloring. So that's one of the reasons I did not use this as a, <laughs> a club card. This one worked out a little bit better to have the leaves on the edge. But yeah, having that, those coloring, and because I went over it a few times, it got deeper. Now here, I did not go over it as much and it did not soak through the white paper. So the one way to get around that is to cut another die cut and reverse it and cover that up. So so that would be how you'd cover that little boo-boo um, up, if you want to call it that. Okay. Um, let's, oh, I wanted to share something really quick. Do you all know that we have a, a plate? It's called plate it's number four, but I think it's called an embossing plate. It's for 3D embossing folders. It is as simple as using your base plate, your embossing folder, and this. I know so many people struggle with what layers do I use because this is thicker than the average old style of the uh, embossing folders, these 3D or thicker embossing folders. This is so simple, one and four, and that's all you need to know. So I do this to my with my customers because I uh, some people think that this is how you run it through. It is not. You always want your embossing folder to be covered so you don't ruin it. It can get bent and ruined if you do that. So this is in the catalog, or you might find it easier in the online store. Uh, but if you go under cutting or tools in the in the catalog, I believe that's where you'll find that. So, but it may, I don't know, it might be just in the online store, but love it. It's, it's intuitive. You don't need to think what layer, what do I need for all these embossing folders? And um, this is another one that I'm using. I used in a, in a, in a project a while back. And this is the size of our plates. Now, if you have the old Big Shot, this is fine. It, it's the size of the old plate. So you can use these monster <laughs> embossing folders that are twice as big as are almost twice. Not quite, but, um, but they do work. You just have to have them nice and even as you go through. So, okay. Let's move to our second card. And this is a favorite. This one we did at my, uh, my card clubs. This was the second version for this with this stamp set that I used. And it is a fun fold, although it does not look like one, but look at the pretty die, the, the detail that you see by just popping it up on the same color of the card base. So here's how the card opens. Okay, so it's a little bit of a Z fold in the inside. So this white piece here is uh, three and three quarters wide by 11 inches long. So you get two pieces from an eight and a half by 11 card and you score it at five inches and 10 inches. And that leaves that one inch flap. So I'm gonna put this together for you. And we are making a pink one today. Get all my pieces out. Okay, so black ink. Let's see, we're going to actually make this card only in pink, but okay. So again, we're going to use the, you know what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the leaves. It's just fun to do the leaves. And then I get to do the butterfly, which is a different, little, little different coloring technique than the leaves. So, you know, I first wanna stamp the butterfly because I need that to be there and uh, I can stamp the leaves around the butterfly. Okay, so this is one of the dies in this bundle. And I hopped on this because the little, the black part right here is kind of solid and we had a little trouble getting that um, inked well. Okay, and the inside, I think I'm going to just do some leaves. So that's done and so here's our inside, and I think I'm done with the black. 
I already had a stamped greeting, so I don't have to do that. So you simply accordion fold this piece right here. And sometimes I do both sides if I want it to mind well. Okay, so now we know, after I haven't made this card for a while. This is the bottom. So we're going to just stamp a few leaves in the Shy Shamrock, which is my accent color. Okay, there's that. And then for this, oh, that's right. I need to stamp these at the same time. So they match. Now I want my butterfly to be a little bit kitty wampus, so he's flying. All right, you can see how that's stamped. Okay, and I have to make sure that this is very smooth here, no lip, so you lose some of your, um, if, if you don't, if you don't, if you have a lip here, you lose some of the stamped image. So that's kind of how that works, but we didn't. All right, so, and one thing I did with these leaves, you can kind of see they're a little bit different from these. And what I did was I, I used the fine tip and just went down the center a little bit. You can do a few little extra lines if you want to, but it just kind of accented the, the leaves to bring them out a little bit. Don't have to, just kind of fun because coloring is fun. Once you start, you're going to want to finish. A light hand is best. Just a few little. There, that's all. I'm not going to do the inside, but at least I did that. Now let's color that butterfly. Okay, I want a little bit more pink than I do the uh, peach. So I'm just gonna find a few highlighted areas and color them the pink. Maybe I'll go over them. If you go over, even using the same color, they tend to get a little darker. Okay, and you can always, like I did before, go over them again. I just think these two colors blended together are gorgeous. And I, I believe I will I'll be going over them one more time. So how many of you use your blends with two colors like this? It's super fun to do. And just bring that pink into the peach a little bit more. Mm, beautiful two tones. And who knows if there's any butterflies like this, but hey, the artists can do whatever they want when they're coloring. Okay, all right, so let's put this card together. So one of the most important things is to attach this ribbon before you put it on your card. Believe me, I forgot, and a couple of my um, club members forgot too. And, and then, you know, it reminds you, don't forget, you won't do it again. That one is a little crooked. Still a little crooked. I need to hold it up differently when I do this, but. Okay, so adhere this to one of the card bases. Now these, uh, I'm gonna do a little piece. That's what's nice about this seal plus is you can add just a little piece at a time. Let me get this centered. Now this will be put on with dimensionals. And I found it's very helpful to put your dimensionals around the edge because that lets you see the pop-up, the, the difference between the two, um, showing the detail on the edge of this die cut. It really helps to have your dimensionals around the edge. Okay. All right, now we have to match this up. That looks pretty good. 
See how that's so nicely popped up and it shows the, got a little piece that didn't come out when die cutting. I'm sure that'll come out here. Okay, so now we can adhere the back of this stamped long uh, Z fold to here. And we just simply center this. That's how the card opens. So now we will add adhesive to this one inch flap and just match up these four and a quarter by five and a half pieces. And there we have it. You could do a lot more stamping on here if you wanted to. And then we will add these. Now, when I add something over a ribbon that's movable, Sometimes I will add a little bit of adhesive so my ribbon stays flat. Then it doesn't wobble. I don't, and I'm gonna also move my dimensionals to highs and lows. So it kind of hits the cardstock and not just the ribbon. Um, it usually works. This is a little narrow, so we'll see. Get that on there straight. Okay, all that's left are a few gems. Thank you, I'm glad you like the cards. And I wanna add some of the green here. We'll add two of the green. And that's it. Now, Wink of Stella, which I forgot to bring over, is perfect for adding to the butterfly. But aren't they pretty cards? So that's them. And if you just joined me, you missed the first set which is another set of fun folds that opens like this. So that's what we made today if you just joined me. So these project tutorials, actually here is what one of them looks like. You have the name, you have the photos, the dimensions, and the directions. And then on the back, if you print it two-sided, you will have the uh, products listed as well. So you can choose to print both sides or not, but that's, you can, you can save these in a folder or a binder and then you have ideas. I mean, and I do a lot of fun fold cards, so it's helpful to have these kind of ideas and you know, do what I do also is when I get swaps or cards that give me ideas, I will make one and save it in my little shoe box full of card ideas. When I'm looking for a fun fold or a card idea, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try that one. What this is called, I don't know. I guess it's probably a Z fold of some sort, but um, I never know the names of cards. <laughs> anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Don't forget to, uh, to uh, follow me both on my Facebook page and on my YouTube channel. If you're ordering anything, there is my shopping link. Here are the host codes. If you use a host code, you get a prize and my shop for my tutorials, and that's my blog, where are where you will find these project sheets. Now remember, I have a whole category for my project sheets for all of my video uh, projects that are on the right side. So very important, you can print out as many as you want. All right, thanks so much everybody. Have a great week, and I hope you stamp this week and, and mail something out too <laughs> to your friends. All right, take care, have a great week. Bye-bye.